So, you've just been to see Jurassic World Dominion, and now you want more dino action. Perhaps it's time to return to Jurassic World Evolution 2. If you're a fan of dinosaurs and haven't already played Jurassic World Evolution 2, go play it now. Even if you're not that much into park building strategy games. Reviewing the game for us, Chris described it as a fantastic sim game that'll have you coming back for more, even when you've exhausted its campaign and chaos theory mode. And with Jurassic World Dominion in the cinemas, it's soon to receive a substantial expansion that ties in with it. The Dominion Biosyn expansion for Jurassic World Evolution 2 introduces another campaign to the game, one that allows you to get your hands on a new range of buildings and decorations inspired by Biosyn genetics. Everything from research outposts to power stations have a new look, but what's more exciting is the new Hyperloop transport system that it introduces. Why make do with old-fashioned paths and roads when you can travel faster and safer? There are other new additions as well, of course. There are invisible fences, for example, that make observing your dinosaurs that bit easier. And there's also a new feature in amber mining. Allowing you to conduct more comprehensive dinosaur research, it'll lead you to being able to discover entirely new species, and then bring them to life to show off in your park. Those new dinosaurs include the oldest prehistoric reptile in the game, the Dimetrodon, as well as other new species such as the Pyroraptor, the Therizinosaurus, and even the Giganotosaurus. We've been hands-on with the first mission of the upcoming expansion, and we were left pretty impressed. We were tasked with establishing a new Biosyn genetics facility in a picturesque valley, and once we cleared some land, we were ready to go. It took us a little while to get used to the new Hyperloop system to link buildings, but anyone that's played Jurassic World Evolution 2 before will be able to jump in with minimal help. And after getting our facility off the ground, it wasn't long until we were also introduced to the Amber Mine. Then, we were able to add our first new dinosaur, the Dimetrodon. Needless to say, with the expansion, you can set about creating more elaborate and diverse parks than ever before. With new environments to build parks in, each presenting their own challenges, the Dominion Biosyn expansion campaign seems set to enthrall, despite the gameplay That's not correct. being all that different. Good. You'll be given a range of objectives to complete, expedition. and along the way you'll end up gaining brand new dinosaurs for your parks that you'll need to make comfortable. And even though you'll have work to do, you'll just want to zoom in and observe them at times. Those invisible fences really do help with that. Just make sure you keep supplying them with power so your dinosaurs don't escape. It's especially important seeing as some of the new dinosaurs introduced are more fearsome than ever. The joy of playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 is creating a park and keeping it running smoothly, but there's also some sick pleasure in watching things go wrong, and that can happen very quickly here. Launching on the 14th of June on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS and PC, Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dominion Biosyn expansion will cost $15.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. The good news is that it offers more than just a campaign filled with new features and dinosaurs. It also includes a new what-if scenario in Chaos Theory mode, inspired by the events of Jurassic World Dominion. So, if you'd like to try your hand at more dinosaur park building, be sure to check it out.